Yo, everybody, Panda here, here to bring you Bleach Chapter 534. Yeah, a bit um, late with this one. Yeah, started college again, and uh, it sort of didn't really feel too well when I got back in, so I just lied down for a bit and just had some tea. But, like, you know, I'm alright now, and I feel like doing the chapter, like I said, because this was a very good chapter. Uh, it wasn't like battle heavy or anything, but we got a lot of dialogue and we got a lot more explanation of what is happening ever since that attack. So, what happens is it started off with you know, a bit of gag, you know, like Ryan Kiko saying, you know, I've got some urgent business to take off, so will you just take care of these? And he's like, and you know, Ishin said, you know, hey, I'm just going going back to the human world and all that, just try and smooth things out with the Captain Commander. So he's obviously gone to see the girl, um, Masaki again, and what happens is, like, um, Masaki returned home, and what happens is her, her auntie, or, like, her adopted mother, knew, found out about, you know, you helped uh, Shinigami, you helped Soul Reaper against a Hollow, and it's, like, the only person who knows about this is Ryu and, um, the, the maid, Katagiri, and he just got mad. He was like, you know, why the hell did you say anything about that? Why did you tell her? And he was saying there was a problem. He was saying she was attacked by a hollow and that and the only ones she needed proper treatment and the only ones who could do it is the hand of the Quincy, like, you know, the master and obviously the mistress. And he's saying, like, you know, the bloodline could have been tainted and he said and she's like, you know, losing it, saying, Is that your justification? That's it. and she's like saying, Well, that's what you wanted. Like the reason, like, you know, the marriage between you and her is simply for the sake of Quincy's future. So I think there was actually, you know, she actually likes her, like, you know, like she likes him a lot, and she, she can't really say that because she's, like, not, I guess, not a pure blood like they are. And, you know, Masaku's like, oh, sorry, I'll things, and she passed out, and she's got, like, a hollow hole. So what happens is this white has infected her with a hollow hole, so she's going to be transforming. And, you know, Leo's like, oh, I'm just going to take out. And I noticed something about the mother's legs. She's, like, got bruises or scars at the bottom of her legs or something. So it looks like she her, she's been beaten or she's, like, not been told to leave the house. Maybe that's what the, her father, did, like, Rio's father did that. It's like, you know, maybe the Quincy's are pretty strict with what happens. And out of nowhere, while she was taking them, like, freaking hollow attacked them out of nowhere. And Ishin just attacked it and... You know, he was quite upset, you know, saying, you know, like Ryu was saying, you know, you did this to her, and all that, he's saying, it's all because of you, because you protect you, and he's saying, why did Masaki have to go, with this could only be that time, he's, uh, and he, it looks like he was never to kill him, and it's like, instead just, Urahara is just saying, you know, follow me, I know a way, and I'll tell you a choice that you have to make to save that girl, so, I think it has something to do with, like, Ishin, you know, stay, staying or giving him a lot of, um, hot, like, you know, <laughs> like, reishi or something, I don't know, like, um, it's, I think it's something to do with that, and then maybe as well, like, they're gonna have to work together, you know, with the Quincy healing techniques, and, like, in Soul Reapers, maybe that does something, but, you know, obviously, the two are not be able to work together, but for the sake of, the you know, both the girl they love, they're willing to do it, but, like, overall, it's like, um, I really enjoyed it. Like this episode was episode freaking this chapter was really jam packed with information. But let me know in the comment section below. Like, do you think you know Masaki's um, her father taking step adopted step out? You know, he beats his wife and all that because there's like scars on her legs and it just looked like she's been either attacked by a hollow or like she's been beaten up. And what do you think is going on with the maid? You know, do you think she likes um, Ryu? But that's all for me, everyone. So thank you very much for watching. As always, remember. Strut Love Panda, sign out and I'll see you next time.